One of the many things needed to allow a parent to be content is for their children to be happy. Maddie had found her happiness, and she found it in an extraordinary young man, a hardworking, dedicated family man with integrity and a kind heart, a perfect match for our Maddie who has surpassed any parent's dream of what her daughter can be. Madison and Dakota truly are one of those meant to be love stories. I remember the first day that I met Madison. It was at one of Savannah's ball games. That was the very first time I met you. And um, I never told you this, but Dakota had leaned over and whispered to me, Mom, this is the one to marry. Madison, you look so pretty today. But your beauty every day isn't just about having a pretty face. It's about having a pretty mind, a pretty heart, and a pretty soul. Through the efforts you put in baking and planning fun surprises for your family, I've seen how you've grown over the past four years and put your family's needs and responsibilities ahead of your own. And this selfless love you demonstrate is so special. Since we first started hanging out, when I mean, classes together, lunch periods, and pep rallies, uh, we've always just kind of stuck together. And if one of us was somewhere, the other one is with us. Everything, uh, everything that we did, we came as a couple. <laughs> a lot of good times together, living together, for uh, to lake trips, snowboarding trips, racing our cars and our trucks, and so, you know, stuck we can get our trucks. And he's always had my, always had my back, and every every situation that we've been through and there's quite a few where I needed someone to have my back. Look at one another now and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned much from one another these past few years. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life and things between you will never be quite the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having mutual sets of values and common objectives. It is stand, standing together facing the world. During your relationship together we have seen Dakota grow and mature and want to be the very best person he can be. Remember to compliment each other 
and take care of each other with patience, love, and understanding, even on the tough days. But when I see the smile run across your face and the sunrise lights up another day, love of your life, but that unconditional love started between you and Dakota first. Seeing you two grow as a couple from the start with a strong foundation of friendship, <laughs> respect and love is a demonstration, of how, a demonstration of how a true partnership works. One that can achieve any goals and overcome any obstacles put in your way. I know as you continue on your journey, you'll grow closer together and keep developing this bond you've created for your family. We also wanted to share with you something old from our wedding day. We made bookmarks that day, way back in the day when we got married. It is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 and 8. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or conceited or proud or provoked. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but is pleased with the truth. Love never gives up its hope, faith, and patience. Never fail. You're such a good, you're such a good father to, uh, to Amelia. And, uh, I'm so glad to be a part of hers and Madison's and yours and uh, your life, I guess. And looking forward to many more, many more years and even more beers. <laughs> uh, congratulations, you too. I love you guys. Dakota and Madison, or should I say Mr. and Mrs. Green, we admire you as individuals and even more as a couple. You are both outstanding in your love and dedication to each other and your little Amelia. We have always been proud to call Madison our daughter, and now we have the privilege of calling Dakota our son-in-law. When I see the smile across your face and the sunrise lights up another.